So far, I got 975.7 miles from the time I left home. I'm sorry, how many miles you got, Humdinger? 975.8.9. Okay. I have 1,036 miles. Okay. 1,036 miles. And I'm 32. Well, 33 now. shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who is fearless. A young loner on a crusade to champion the cause in a world of reckless automobiles. These are my motor vlogs. I know one thing, it feels good now. It feels perfect now. I got like 79 that, huh? degrees. I got 79 degrees. Yeah, I'm showing, uh, I'm showing 81. Got some gator in the road. Got some in the road. Hey, well. Everybody missed it. Okay, yeah. good deal. Oh, this is a nice little stretch right here. Yes, sir. Hey, T, that was a pretty good, uh, uh, that was a good reflex, man. <laughs> Say what now? I, I, I was, uh, oh, well, Talking I Godspeed? Yeah, I, I was telling God, uh, uh, Godspeed, that was some good reasoning. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm glad we was able to get, uh, Godspeed was able to get your, get your valve stem taken care of, too. That's yeah, the thing about being, being out here, man, you stuff to run into a, to a snag, you got to learn how to, how to adjust. What you say, Chris? I was just saying I'm glad Godspeed was able to help you get your valve stem fixed. Oh, man, I am, too. I am, too. I really appreciate that. Yeah. You know. But, you know, hey, hey, we, I, I, all of us, we a team. Uh, one for all and all for one. <laughs> That's it. That's right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, I got to go jump in that 2011 trade shaker and go make some extra money. What's that, Godfrey? I got to drop in that 2011 freight shaper. Oh. Go make some extra money. When you going to get in it? Uh, I've been had it for a while. I just ain't. I've been taking care of all the things on it, buying all the stuff I didn't buy. I had to buy new batteries, mud flaps, uh, ignition and door locks, turbo, power steering system. I done did all the work. All I got to do is uh, change the locks out on it. Locks, uh, I got the locks in my van. Change the locks out in it. Put the new type. Uh, go ahead and polish out my tires, my rims, and put my new tires on it. I got a uh, four extra. I got two extra steers and four extra uh, rears. That way I'll be all alone them, lose a little weight. That way, I, that weight I lose with them steel wheels, I'll be able to put, put, uh, have the spare, have, have front spare and rear spare ride. Right. Okay. Well, you, I like what you're doing. You're getting it ready. Yep. Better to be proactive than reactive. Exactly. Taking all the necessary steps, so when it's time to throw it in, Get them wheels rolling. You already got everything covered. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put a secondary airline for, uh, on the truck so that if I have pitch it flat, I pull out that ball jack and jack up the tires, change it out myself, air it up, and keep on rolling. Yeah. Yep. Have you a little? Uh, I guess what they call an outlet. Uh, our yeah. yeah. You got a T-Spoon? Capital T. Yo. Yeah, we uh, got about four and a half miles to the exit. Okay, okay. 
Yeah, were you on yeah, the line? Where did the four fifty line? No, uh uh-uh. uh. Well you gonna you get we're gonna get off on three eighty five. Three eighty five, that's where I'm gonna get off. Three eighty five gonna uh-huh. run you to two sixty nine. And that's where you and Humdick okay. are gonna split off on two six nine. Two sixty nine okay. right. will take you straight to fifty five south. For him, he's gonna take right. two sixty nine right. to Tunica. Yeah. Okay, you said two eighty five or three eighty five? Two eighty eighty five. Three eighty five. Three eighty five. When we get to it, it's yeah, okay, 385, 69. And uh, I would say 385 going to Memphis, and yours would say 369 going to uh, Jackson. Okay, I'm going to right hand it. I remember it now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, just follow me, Teaspoon. I'll tell y'all uh-huh. where to get off at. Because Humdinger, you and Humdinger got to uh-huh. go the same. Same way. Same way. Yeah. Uh-huh. You hunt down your lady little. Y'all going to take the same track. Right. I've been down there before, but I passed it up because I ain't used to seeing that one. <laughs> well, you're going to love it once you, once, you, once you ride it, you're going to love it. It cuts, it cuts yeah, out. Yeah. If you don't want to go to Memphis, it cuts out the whole lot of time. Yeah, yeah. I came up in a truck. One time, and I was going to go back down it the second time, but I bypassed it because I wasn't used to it, you know, used to it being there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we'll get it. I tell folks all the time, old habits are hard to break. Oh, yeah. But that's the way to go, though, to keep them going into Memphis. Right. If you're going back to Mississippi. If you're going to Mississippi, uh, yes. Uh, uh-huh. Because otherwise you got to go all the way to 240. Cut around. You're gonna have to cut it. You either go toward downtown side. 240 North. I mean, uh, I-40 North. I mean, I-40 West. Or you got to go 240 South and go all the way around on 55 South. Uh huh. But instead of doing that, you get off on this exit we got coming up. This is exit 20. 20 the the most. Three. 20. Yeah. Yeah. See one said Jackson, Mississippi. Yeah. 269. Uh huh. Yeah. That's where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I learned something on this trip about packing my trailer. Because uh, I put that box back there, and when I, evidently when I shut it down, uh-huh. it broke the wires on my right tail light. So I'm gonna, when, I, when I get the replacement and move it and rewired, I'm going to make me some covers to go over to keep it from getting broke. Right. Uh-huh. Hold, on. Hold on a second, Godspeed. Now, this is the exit we're going to be getting off here, Teaspoon. Okay. Exit 2425 exit. Right. Light turn, Teaspoon. Uh-huh. Yeah, this, yeah, yeah this. I thought you had to go this way. That's what I was asking, but I called the wrong number out. Yeah. Get on down to the bucket. Mary Jones, I 269 South. She's talking to me back here. Right. The guy's back in the Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're going to stay on this. Now, it's about 20 miles to the, well, it, it is probably about 17 miles till you get to 269. Uh-huh. And then that's going to take you to 55. Right, the 269 is. Yep. Right. Your 269 will, yeah. Tom Dickin' still with us? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm here. Okay, yeah, you and Teaspoon are going to go the same route. All right, we got it now. Oh, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) It was last Tuesday. We was coming through here, uh, swinging around to miss the rain. And it was thunder and lightning, and it was a big boom. And when we got all ready to head toward, uh, I think it was Perryville. That's where uh, the tractor trailer is. If you look and see where a tractor trailer went through the center right here, it's on down somewhere. But that's where that uh, tractor trailer came with the uh, car carrier. It was the car carrier. Uh huh. It was gold. I don't know how they tangled, but that Nissan four-door pickup 
it's a, like a little frontier. Quarter of pickup. When they got through tangling, the, the tractor trailer didn't have no tires on it. And it was sitting on the ground. The driver had been ejected. Right up in here, I think it was. The driver had been ejected. And the uh, guy in the Nissan, he was ejected. And out of the vehicle, laying on his stomach, he was barely moving. What happened? What happened? The car hit the truck? The truck hit the car? You could, it, it, we couldn't tell. All we know is it started over on this side We're and tracking. ended 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 with a, with both of them in the middle of the thing. You, from the looks of it, you all you seen was all the parts and on this side of the road in the middle of the road. The car must have hit. The car must have came across over and hit him. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it went down, but it was some kind of ugly. It threw the tractor trailer drive out too. The huh? tractor, the tractor trailer driver threw him out, threw the driver of the uh, Nissan out, and you couldn't tell. It was a mangled mess. Wow. That tra- that that car hauler didn't have no tires on it. It tore the tires off the trailer. Cars were still on the trailer. Wow. Got to be more careful. If you look toward the center and see, see a, a lot of dirt go up, that's where it was. Well, I'm glad I didn't see that one. There you go, right here. See all that dirt? Yeah. That's where it happened, right there. Yeah, some diesel, too. Yeah. I was planning on trying to look it up to find out how it, how everybody came out, survived or whatever. Kind of responded to that. They had uh, all the sheriffs. They had about eight sheriff cars. I had got out, I had got out the bike to assist, and as soon as I got out and got my helmet off, they was coming down uh, pulling up. So I put my stuff on, back on, and got on down. It was at nighttime or daytime? Uh, about five, about five in the evening. That was when that big thunderstorm rolled through here. The thunderstorm with all the wind. Right. That's when it rolled through here. Was it raining? Yeah. I swung around. I swung around from 385 coming from my house to miss the rain. Right. And got caught in, got caught in it out here, and that accident happened. Thunderstorm was thunder. You can see the thunder hit the ground. You was on your uh, wing. I was on my wing. Without my, didn't have my trailer on the back. Right. To see a tra- to see a tractor trailer, looked like somebody stripped it, left it, left it, didn't put it, didn't even put it on on bricks. But I mean, wasn't no tires on the, the tires had disintegrated or something from the truck out, all the way back to the trail. Everything's sitting on the ground. What you think about that T-Phone? Hey, that, that's a bad deal, man. Listen to that uh, God's speed telling, that's a bad deal. You ain't lying. It was, it was, it was really, really yeah. bad. Yeah. They had tra- the tra- it was so bad traffic was backed up on both sides. Couldn't no side hardly go. Mm-hmm. And that's when I lost my flag after I left that. Oh, okay. I lost the tip the tip off my flag and I see D on that side and this side. I left lost the tip tip off my flag and my flag. And right, you, don't, right- you don't have you don't have a flag now, do you? I got one on the right side, the left side. I got the post, but I ain't got the tip. Okay. Because I could put my other uh, Caliente flag on there if I had the tip. I figure I'm going get, to get, get a tip from AutoZone or somewhere, find something to fit it. That, yeah. That's nice. i find a new ball to put on there. I know Carrie Yakin sell tips. Carrie Yakin? Yeah. I, but I think, but I'm not sure if that's if it'll match up. Sure. I'm gonna ch- check my other one. 
I'm gonna check the one on the other side. Yeah, I know. Uh, like I said, uh, Kerry, I can sell them. If you call, you gotta call them. Tell me you got a flagpole, and uh, they can send you the tip. Okay. The Lacrone tip. Oh, uh, what I should have done then, cause I, I bought a whole new pole because I looked, I looked, I looked, I looked, and couldn't find the tip. You know, I didn't know you had to call them, but you know, I got the whole yeah. book. Yeah, because they, 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 they don't have it on their website. You got to call them. Right. They sure don't. Well, I'm going to call them suckers. All that money I done spent. <laughs> yeah, you can call them. I have bought I know because like, I bought them. Yeah, okay. Good deal. I'm glad you said that. I guess they showing this highway to be 269. I guess it's uh-huh. stopped. Uh-huh. It's it all, it, 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 See, they, yeah, take, they take I a highway and put more than one name on it. <laughs> it was 385 now, 269. Uh huh. So I guess you, that I guess, six, you on mine. I guess it turned to, to turn to, uh. Well, basically, it's one of those highways that got two numbers because it divides at a certain point. It right. divides, it goes to the right, and, uh, it's still 2385 two, going back into Memphis, but it goes to the left, and. You're 269 going on to Jackson and Tunica and everything. Yeah, I don't like being ha- being behind those boats. I done seen pillars from the uh, from the chairs come out and everything. Yeah, you got to be careful when you ride behind stuff, man. You don't yeah, know what they got man. back there. Hey, anybody see that Sorry. video of the guy? He riding riding his bike uh, down somewhere toward New York Turnpike or somewhere. He riding his bike. And the uh, mattress comes off the vehicle, and ow, he, he it flies right in front of him. He ain't got nowhere to go, so he pull, he runs over the mattress and he eases on his back brake, I guess, and it, he manages to get the bike stopped without fouling. No, I didn't see that one. And basically, it's that when you get home, go to uh, YouTube and. Uh, Put in biker runs over mattresses, run over mattress. He manages, he manages to get the bike stopped without fouling. He was just lucky that there wasn't no traffic around him that could have made that turn out different. You ain't lying. Yeah, you got to be careful. Now the way you and Humding uh, the, uh, the, the split will be coming up. Y'all there, Humping? Uh, yeah, uh huh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we just keep straight. Well, Teaspoon, we're going to go with y'all to 55. Bump. Yeah, okay. All right. Oh, yeah, I got him now. Remember where yeah, I'm y'all at, be huh? going the same way. Uh huh. Yeah, see, there go y'all. Say 269, Jackson, Mississippi. Yeah. And I say 385. Memphis Cottyville. Right, yeah. right. So what you'll do once you once you follow that around, you're gonna just stay on it. About ten miles or so, you'll see 55 South, 55 South and 55 right. North. I'm gonna chain lane. I'm chain right. lane myself. All right, all right. Yeah, and Hump and would keep straight. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I've been right. staying slow, y'all. All right. See you on the next one. Okay, we'll all see you. y'all. Bye, later, boy. Right. Bye, Hump You guys take care now. All right, Humbing, be safe. All right. <laughs> Just stay on it. You, you may have 10 or 15 miles. You'll see 55 south. All right, got you. Teaspoon said he's going to ride all the way back to Jackson, Mississippi tonight. Uh-huh. Yes, sir, baby. We're going to the home 20. <laughs> <laughs> I see here, Teaspoon. Capital T. About a mile away. Yes, P. Yes, sir. People, they gonna drive it all the way in tonight. Oh yeah, but we are gonna take it in. I'll take you. Might be asleep, but you'll see it in the morning. Okay. <laughs> all right. That right, people yeah. on the phone. What about I think? I'm thinking he on the car though. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm on the phone. Yeah. Ain't love now, probably cut out now, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They cut out on my end. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Now, Godspeed, where are you getting off at, Godspeed? 
Where you think I'm going? Gonna, I'm going. I'm going to run 85 to Hawkins. Uh, the Hex Crossing. Oh, I'll get up to the Hex Crossing. Okay, I got you. I got you. People, you got about an hour of light. Huh? Huh? I think you got oh, I'll be, at, I'll be at the hospital before we lose this little light. Yeah, I'll tell my chief one got about an hour of daylight left, maybe 45 yeah. minutes. Oh, yeah, that'll be, that'll be enough. Yeah. Oh, nice bump, Godspeed. Oh, yeah. I'm going to tell you something. These trailers soften up those bumps. They, they do what? They soften up the bumps. Yeah. Because the weight of the trailer keeps you from uh bouncing up and coming down so so low. Well Godspeed, you look good, man. All you need is some lower fog lights and you'll be in the house. Hey, I'm going I already get the lower fog lights. I just gotta put my switch and my wire in. Okay. All right. All right, Godspeed, All right. y'all be safe.